Last week, the National Bank and KCB merger deal received the final approval from the Central Bank of Kenya and the Capital Markets Authority, paving way for the merger of the two banks. NBK Chief Wilfred Musa was the first casualty of the merger after his position was taken over by KCB's head of regional business, Paul Russo. In a statement, KCB had said that Russo was to head the transition team for a period of two years as NBK is fully integrated into the operations of KCB. The transition period will serve to streamline human resources systems, processes and procedures to realize efficiency and productivity synergies and dispatch from KCB said. Following the acquisition of NBK, a majority of the workers who stand at 1,356 are set to lose their jobs as KCB moves to streamline the activities of the two lenders. However, the Competition Authority has put a caveat on the planned downsizing exercise by KCB, saying at least 9% of the merged entity's workforce should not be relieved of their duties for a period of 18 months. However, it is not clear what will happen to various managers of NBK who are on contract. KCB employs 4,835 workers and the extra NBK workload is likely to exert overhead pressure on the merged entity's bottom line. NBK, which is a Tier 2 lender, has a market share of 2.37%, while KCB controls 14% of the Tier 1 segment of the market. Following the merger, the market share of KCB will stand at 16.5%, making it the largest bank in the region in market share as well as capitalization.